Well, hi there, it's Sandy Allnock with a studio bag giveaway from My Sweet Petunia. I'm kind of excited to share this with you. Ileana was kind enough to send me all three of the studio bags that she is now selling, and they are really cool. One is pink, it's like an RV04 trim. So if you're a pink gal, this is one of them. Another one is a teal or a turquoise, which would be more like a BG13 if you speak Copic. And so there's three colors. There's also a black one. I'm going to use these two, the teal and the pink for giveaways. I'll give you the information on that later. But the black one is the one that I'm going to use. And I stuffed it with a whole bunch of craft stuff just so I could see how well it holds up to being shoved full of junk because that's how I travel. I throw in everything. There's three pockets, three zippers. And the first one, of course, the one in the middle fits the Misty perfectly. And you can close that on up. And then look at the other zipper pockets because each one has different kinds of pockets in it. Pockets are wonderful to tuck in all of our yummy crafty stuff. And on the left side is an open-ish pocket. And in there I tucked my Bible journaling pens and my watercolors. And I could also put a little container in there with my brushes in it and stuff. And then there are these two marker pockets. I guess you could use them for other things too, but I would put markers in them because they are Velcroed. So you can take that out, put it on your table and not have to dig into your bag constantly. They also fit, as you can see, those tall markers. So those are Marvies, but they also fit the distress markers and the Tombows and stuff in those kinds of pockets. So there's those two pockets. And then let's flip it over and look at the other side. And the zippers, by the way, are really, you know, they're high quality. They don't stick. I didn't find them to be sticky at all. They work nicely. And the bag itself, all the seams seem to be really nice on it. And I put in some ink pads in here in the plastic, clear plastic pocket. The pocket continues upwards, so you can have some taller things in there if you have bigger things to carry. And then there's these kind of open elastic pockets. And I put in some stamped images. You could fill both of those with stamped images or card bases, that kind of thing. And I wanted to show you that stamp pockets or the stamp envelopes don't necessarily fit in there. You can tuck them in, but they don't necessarily fit down inside. And then I threw my little mini Misty into the other pocket. Now what I'm likely to do, I don't go to many crops where I don't take my whole Copic bag. So I'm gonna probably turn this one into a Bible journaling bag and I will repack it and refilm it and show that over on my Bible journaling channel if you wanna click through to go see that one. But otherwise, click through to my blog. There's a link in the description down below because on my blog, you can leave a comment there telling me your favorite thing that the Misty does for you. What does it do? Does it save your bacon? <laughs> so go leave me a comment on the blog and I'm gonna do a giveaway of the teal bag and the pink bag. And so you need to go leave those comments, uh, let's say within a week of the post date on this video. So if it's past that, then I'm sorry you didn't have a chance to win. But anyway, here is also my Misty playlist. So you can get some Misty tips and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend.